We're going to show up for them for however long they'll be making them. Our involvement <laughs> or not, we, we are just thrilled that Scream's back. This film takes place right on the heels of the last one. Uh, it finds the survivors of Scream 5, Scream 2022, Scream, Scream all new movie, whatever you, <laughs> Five Cream, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Having moved to New York together to try to deal with, escape, run from, move on from the events of the previous movie. They moved to the big city, because what kind of bad thing could happen in the big city? Surely Ghostface won't show up, and then Ghostface shows up. We wanted to be in the city, in the lived-in part of New York. Being in a city is a scary thing, and, and you know, with Woodsboro, you're able to be isolated very easily into the woods and, and into the surrounding areas. I always say woods because I grew, I grew I up in the it. woods. <laughs> yeah, um, But the woods, like in, in a world. city, it's also, you could be surrounded by millions of people and still feel very alone. And I think that's exactly what we wanted to capture for this one. You got a problem here, guy? Laura Crane is Samara Weaving. We knew that she'd be incredible as Laura, so that was an easy choice to make. Tony Revolori plays Jason. He's one of those characters that, with like the slightest adjustment in his expression, or even in the music, a friendly face can become something really sinister, and he, he's really good at kind of walking walking that line. Quinn Bailey, that's Liana, and then Dermot plays her dad, a Detective Bailey who kind of steps into, you Detective know. Detective Wayne Bailey. Detective Wayne Bailey, <laughs> who kind of steps into like the, the, the kind authoritarian cop figure that Dewey had, you know, like we wanted to kind of be in that lineage. Devin plays Annika, who's uh, Mindy's girlfriend. There is a standard that's been set by these movies that the opening as its own little contained short film has to achieve something really specific and set a tone for the rest of the movie. And it also has to live up to what exists as the openings, you know, in the, in the, in the lineage of this franchise. And this one for us was the most surprising and shocking, uh, certainly on the page, but um, I think it just felt like Oh, we're gonna take some chances with this, and if the audience is on board, then they're gonna be on board for the for the rest of the movie. And I think at the end of the day, that's kind of the goal, mm -hmm. <laughs> the goal of the opening. Like, how far can you push it? How far can you can you push the guardrails and hopefully set up a wild set of expectations for the for the audience with the movie moving forward? Guys. We're so glad that the Scream movies are back, and I, I mean, it's certainly hard to watch your work objectively, but it just feels good to know that Ghostface is back, and this world, the world of these movies is back, and we're gonna show up for them for however long they'll be making them. Our involvement <laughs> or not, we, we are just thrilled that Scream's back.